feel like the, this movie maybe diverges a little more from the books than, than any other movies in the sense of, in, in a good way, there's some interesting dynamics you kind of played off of that you actually built on. And I know Suzanne has a kind of a, a, um, an adaptation credit. So I'm curious, has she been involved with, like, has she changed things based on the other movies and worked with you on that? Or? No, 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 no. But she was, um, you know, she was very involved in the adaptation process. Even on Catching Fire, on my first movie, the, the, one of the first things I did was I went to New York and sat in a room with her, and she and I broke down the book and created the beat sheet for what we thought the movie would be. Um, and that worked well as we sort of worked through that process and then started working with the writer. Uh, and we did the same for the Mockingjay movie. So she came down to Atlanta while we were doing Catching Fire, and we broke down the, the Mockingjay book together. Um, and she works with us and the writer and either in the room or on, on the phone. And so she's a, she's a big part of it. But she, but she actually did the original sort of script mints that we gave to writers for um, Mockingjay. But as things went along, did she kind of, has she been influenced at all by the movies and the actors and what you guys have been doing on set? I think so. I mean, I think she definitely, you know, like the perfect example is um, in the Mockingjay books, you know, really Effie has no presence. And we were thinking, you know, it's going to be a giant mistake to get rid of Effie and create some new character. We'd love to bring Effie over. And she was hesitant um, and then saw Catching Fire and went, okay, there, yeah, there's no way we cannot have Effie in the movies. And so then she was open to now working Effie into the Mockingjay movies. I really liked in Catching Fire what you did with the Hunger Games and realizing the traps and things like sure. that. And you had more than that in this one. Can you, can you talk about that, like getting what you read on the page and kind of turning something physical? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 always an interesting process. So, you know, you I read something just as anybody else would and you sort of come up with some ideas in your head. And then suddenly you have to make it feel real. And for things to feel real, you kind of have to think of the real physics of some of these things. So you look at something like the oil sequence, right? And we ended up finding this amazing location in Paris um, that's an apartment building, but it's sort of like a fishbowl. And it became very clear, like, oh, this will be perfect for the oil because now they're not trapped in it. And this is a place that can actually fill up. Because anywhere that's really open, you know, pour something in, it'll just spread out. So you start trying to think of the practicalities of something that is obviously very fantastical to try and make it look and feel real. And then you end up getting a sequence like the the oil sequence. It's a it's a fun process. Now, obviously, you worked with a lot of these actors for three movies now. I was curious about how they've evolved. I mean, because obviously the characters have a great arcs, including Finnick, as well as the three the three yeah. main leads. Can you talk about the, how they've evolved as actors? Have you seen a lot of growth in them? You know, I mean, they were all jammed so close together, and to me, everybody's so good at what they did. It's uh, I didn't see much change. I mean, they're all so talented in their own in their own way. And you know, like somebody like Jen, is it's not about craft; it's about instinct. You know, there are people like Phil. It's all craft, and it's working and grinding away at things and talking about it and rehearsing and doing a lot of that work. Whereas Jen is like, okay, tell me what you want and I'll go and I'll do it. <laughs> and he's, you know, and so it's very different and she's always been that way and it's part of what makes her performances so surprising and immediate and exciting, you know? Yeah, I mean, I love, I mean the Phil, Phil scenes with Julianne were great. I mean, those were just, yeah. just wonderful scenes. Those. I'm glad you were able to capture those. Obviously yeah, so, so am I. I mean, luckily we got most of the scenes that we needed.